This time I'll be going into greater detail about how the border tooling technique was accomplished. It'll instantly upgrade the look of your piece with a relatively low amount of effort or technical skill that is really just a culmination of some basic techniques and many sorts of tools can be used. So while you may not have the exact tools to use here, you can substitute them for other stamps. I'll be using border lines to contain the pattern. My preferred method is to use a wing divider to make consistent guidelines parallel with the borders. You'll want to moisten the leather. Most of the time I'll quickly dunk the pieces in a tub of water and let it sit for a few minutes. Then I'll move on to stamping the primary border. It'll look best to start from the center where possible and work the design out from there, being sure to mirror the direction on the other side. If your piece has a lot of shape to it, you'll encounter areas where the tool does not naturally continue a clean chain. So to hide these breaks, it's good to stamp over them with another decorative stamp. This will be enough to mask the disruption in the pattern, and I'll be beveling all four sides of the channel lines to achieve the desired shape. Thanks a lot for dropping in. I hope you'll stop by again soon.